sutra? What's the minimum height requirement for a sutra? Shoe for a sutra? You're not allowed to put shoes or rubbish to be as a sutra. I mean, you said shoe, let me just say it. Shoe is not, shoes has to be on your left. You can't put something which is like a dustbin <laughs> or a toilet, the actual toilet. You're the one who, you can't have it as a sutra, even though it's high enough. It's supposed to be something, you, says, you know, something decent. You can't push you. So the shoes, and that's one of the ethics you have to understand. The shoes is not correct to be put in the front of you, take it on the left. But as for the sutra, has to have a minimum height. The minimum height, hadith ata. That is mu'khiratu rahil. Mu'khiratu rahil, which is the backbone. And he said, it is a dhira. Dhira is this one. And the Hashimah dhira is about 47 centimeters. So just like that desk, which is the Quranic desk. Can you just bring that desk? Some of you can bring that desk, so you can put it in the camera here, you could see it. That's a very good sutra. Doesn't matter how thick. Oh, you've got one here, I'm sorry. Well, oh, sorry about that. You give it to him, he needs it. Okay, but this is a good sutra, because it stands by itself. Now regarding the thickness of it, it doesn't matter if it's a pencil, or it's a very thin wood piece of wood, the spear or the stick, very thin, doesn't matter, as long as it is. But it has to be from the ground, because the Prophet needs to put it in the ground. Meaning, if I have the goal, you know the goal? The goal, the football. You have a bar, and you have goal, goal post, goal post mm. and a goal post. I can't pray in the middle. Mm. You could throw balls in the middle, <laughs> but I can't pray in the middle like this. Mm. You have to pray the one to the goalposts, mm. not to this. Same thing with the chair. Legs of the chair. Don't pray in between them. Pray to one of the legs of the chair. Now. So that's, uh, that's a bigger than the minimum height, but I'm just saying, yeah, you make sure that this is good. That's good. The microphone is good. Good height. But some people, they put a line, because the hadith in Sunan Nabi Dawood is not authentic. The Prophet made a line. Well, there's another one, which is a hadith as well, which is not authentic. Meaning that he took his, uh, his uh, topi. It's called a topi, hat. It's a little hat. That little hat is not, it's not, uh, it's not authentic, and also it's not big enough. Chef hat, you know the chef, mashallah, mm. really. Depends. The bigger chef he is, the bigger <laughs> He's got like that big, mashallah, is that? You could take his hat as well. But remember, you need to cover your head when you pray. This is the sunnah of the Prophet. ﷺ. Covering the head is from the sunnah of the Prophet. ﷺ. It's not compulsory. Uh, but at the time of the Prophet, of Allah, it was really something shameful to go out without the covering of the hat, at the head. But it's not shameful these days. But I say, I would say, a person with a beard, uh, with a thobe, and with a topi is more protected against the worms and desires and the fitan and the trials and all that, than a person who's got a beard but no thobe and no topi. Because all these send a message. Women, when they look at you, ah, this guy, no chance. Uh, he's got this and he's got that. But somebody has got no topi, uh, maybe there is a chance for me. Okay, so you look at that. See, the, the person sending a message. is a person, he's religious. Person was, so the more you put... From the close of the Prophet, the more you're closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our Shaykh al-Albani was seen without a topi when he was ill. i never seen his bald head until I saw him when he was ill. But all the time he's got something covering his head. Whenever he prays. Once we have our Shaykh, uh, subhanAllah, the Shaykh, I was with him in Saudi Arabia, he died. May Allah have mercy upon him. He's one of the first students of Shaykh al-Albani, a long time ago. If you Ahmed uh, uh, can send us his name, a short sheikh, he, he died in Mecca, subhanAllah. And that sheikh is very, when he went with him, he see somebody sitting over, because he told him to haram cigarettes. He's got some treaties, his books as well, to give them for free. SubhanAllah, anyway, he passed by the sheikh when he was, and he was praying the sheikh without a hat. So, in the hospital. So he said to the sheikh, Sheikh, you know, your books about the hair and his dislike to pray without the hair was happening. So Sheikh looked at him and said, What is the ayah? Laysa ala al haraj. There is no there is no restriction upon the sick person, the ill person. He's can't pray sitting down and my praying without a hat. Do you understand me? Laysa ala al maridi haraj. Wala ala al haraj. All these people have got excuse. People have excuse.